So the last two questions that I'm going to respond to for this session um, will be around issues of validating reality. And I particularly enjoy Samantha's response to this. She, she said, whose reality is valid? Whose experiences are more, should be validated above the other? And the response is around what is normal? Who is normal? Who, who sets the standard for normalcy? The issue is that your experience of parenthood, of being a family member with a person with a disability, or of being a person with a disability, your experience is your reality and your norm. It is the norm for you. It is your reality. It is your existence. It's your unique perspective and experience that is yours alone. And it is no less validated than any other person's own. This, again, is one of the unique aspects of um, disability, where you have different ranges of experiences and how unique and how every experience comes because you put them all together to understand this phenomenon called disability. And so please don't compare um, in terms of validating experiences because it's equally important. Lessa also brings it together. Lessa talks about um, pulling it together and she says, and this is the point I agree with again. Um, it is not about will it happen? Can it happen? It's not about can inclusion happen? It's more about are we willing to let it happen? That's the question. A lot of things that were achieved today, people couldn't imagine that it could happen. People actually stated clearly that it cannot happen. So we know that cannot is not, is not the issue because many things that could not historically, has been known to happen. And so we know that it can happen, but will we allow it to happen? And I think you guys are already on that path. You are allowing it to happen. And for that, we commend you so much. And thank you for your participation in this course. So for the coming week, let me just pull it together as I, as I conclude. Um, for the coming week, it's, we're going to look at community engagement. So we look at um, classrooms as well. After that, we look at how communities um, perceive disability, how they work with education, what does it mean to them, valuing of education and the community within these processes. We're also going to look at um, the inclusive classroom. So I hear a lot, of, we, a lot of questions we get from teachers and practices, inclusive practices, how you handle various situations in the classroom, um, issues of respect and bullying that come up. And we're going to look at these issues of inclusion and you can now apply it to your context and your own experiences in the fifth week and the final week of course is bringing it together looking at networks between teachers parents communities how do you take the experience of this course forward and we hope to hear from you as well as we go on in this course thank you so much for your participation mm -hmm.